going to double up our episodes on the 27th and then I can't do math. So the following Saturday. So you're, <laughs> you're lucky enough. You can hear another money show two times in a row <laughs> this Saturday and next. So yeah, if you missed it, go ahead and listen to it or find us wherever you find your favorite podcast. So the, the other thing that came out this week that was a little bit outside of what I was watching. Here's one article from the Washington Times. Senate issues at least 50 satellite phones as security measure. Why do our elected officials need satellite phones? If you're listening to us, you probably know what a satellite phone is. You know, a regular cell phone. If we have a false flag event from, you know, ammonium nitrate or something, the cell towers can go down. They can be shut down by the authority or they can go down on their own if they're set on fire or blown up or whatever. So satellite phones, they, they get their, their reception from satellites, as the name suggests. So you would literally have to have a high altitude EMP or something of that effect to get rid of the satellite phone usage. Who's paying for them? I believe the taxpayers. I'm just guessing. And why do they yeah, need but them? I mean, of the payments, who really cares? They're going to buy 50 satellite phones with all the billions that they're giving away and the fact that they haven't raised the debt ceiling and we're out of cash. Like, is that even a, an issue? Yes, because you know what? What's the ca- what's the camel's back? The last straw. Every little straw that gets added on. Well, who cares if Noah, the weather people are buying billions of rounds of ammo? Who cares if Social Security Administration, all these people are buying ammo? It's, it's just it's just billions. You know, we're dealing with trillions in the world now. Mm-hmm.